Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb, and welcome back to this let's play of Sid Meier's Civilization 2 as the Celts. The spaceship is taking form, it's not going too fast, but there we have it, and okay... I thought they couldn't do this! Hmm... I honestly thought they couldn't do this. Well, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. For the Vikings. Let's see, let's build some nukes. <laughs> oh, vengeance. I want revenge. Uh, maybe not, maybe I'll just torment them. Don't really need the recycling center, but you want it, so I'm gonna give it to you. Uh, watch your attack, which is always good. Some components. Oh, well, that is the last fuel component, I think. So eight components. No, not oh, do do do. Not terraforming. So the Viking sneak attack to the uh, little buggers. Um, well, that's actually not a harvestable square there. Okay, so do we can either attack them outright, or we can do some diplomacy. I'm gonna do some diplomacy. Uh, right. Foreign minister. And uh, just an emissary. Oh, I can't! Hmm. I thought I would always be able to force them into a peace. Okay, in that case... I need to do something else. Ah. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, okay, let's keep the spies indoors. I might have to actually build an army. I might actually have to do that. That's kind of sad. Oh well. And they're at war. Oh, nice. No. Did not know they were at war. So the Vikings went to war with us, huh? Okay, so I guess I have to wait until they send some units our way. So I can buy them and build an army that way. Okay, my mistake then. I thought that it worked in the same way that the United Nations worked like the Great Wall basically prevented warfare. It's been so long and I forget. Yeah, well, an airport, we want some mobility here. I. I think I don't need more components, I see. You don't really need that, but I'm gonna build a city walls if this is gonna be a problem. No, you know what, Iona? Um, switch to a nuclear missile. Yeah, we have all the components we need. Um, let's build some nukes. You can go with, build some modules. Okay, so you have all the structural pieces, all the mule pieces. Now we need, just need, uh, let's see, two there. Another 
Six, eight modules. Seems like it. So Vikings, do you have any units nearby I can steal? No? Okay. Bring him. But I also think that means I'm gonna have to change priorities just a little bit. Yes, Capua, you're not going to build a mass transit, you're going to build some... Uh, Mechinf. Switch with penalty, you're going to finish that in one turn, that's fine. Just hammer out a few Mechinfs and just fortify the entire border. And they've been overthrown again. Didn't want this communism for long, just, did lo just long enough to actually declare the war, by the looks of it. No, no. There was one time it built a mass transit and I missed it. Do. <laughs> build a marketplace, try, try to stay happy and go faster. Yeah, well, in this case, we probably should build the SDI defenses if the AI can suddenly decide, Hey, you're a target. Let me kill you. Then it's kind of good to be protected. Too. Why did I zoom? I didn't need to zoom. Ugh. All the modules. Look at the nice little ship taking shape. Yeah, I guess these are the support. Well, life support modules, the ones on the side. Looks like it, so we're getting there. Not gonna launch yet. Viking units. You have some guns in the area. We're gonna start fortifying the border. Make an impenetrable wall. We're gonna build a wall and we're gonna make, it, make the Vikings pay for it. I'm sorry, I just had to say it. <laughs> oh, I didn't farmland this. Oh, it's not in. No, it's not. I actually settled city, city tile. That's why. Do. Um, you just try to get some rest there. Now they became a democracy. Send the Greeks away. So Vikings, now that I have um, a slightly destructive weapon. How about a piece? Oh good, it does let you know when you're building something you already have built. Never mind then. Does have the protection I was looking for. Um, get some mass transits and just stop using pollution altogether. We don't really need the recycling centers because we're not producing industrial pollution thanks to the solar plant. So I'm kind of wondering why the recycling center remained in the build list because I don't think it has any 
purpose once we built a solar plant. Future Tech 4, yay. More points. Uh, just go further up and see if we can hide somewhere so we don't wake up every single turn. Beyond that, let's farm up the last bit of land. We have a nuke. Right, it can move 16 turns. Uh, let's move it to Ronda. Oh! <laughs> Sabotage Okay, so I can't actually destroy it. That's unfortunate, but I can attack it like this. That's more than enough. That's not a very gettable square. Oh well. Yeah, that sneak attack was really unexpected. Because but that's mainly because I do not remember how the game works. Ugh. This town is not producing anywhere near enough food. Why? Oh, okay, so they do not repopulate the squares unless you do it manually or the city grows. That's how it works. So when the AI has been visiting, you still have to go and check every single town they've visited. Ugh. Micromanagement. Boo. We need more. Just the barracks to go there. And we have a nuke here too. Uh, let's move it down towards the border. And uh, I don't think there are anything else we can bribe, so just stay there. And you're gonna go here and protect. Yeah, Capua is building out tons of military units, but that's fine. Um, fortify there. That's fine. Just might be the last bit. Let's see. You keep calling for the recycling centers, so they don't actually give you anything. Since you are also a border town, I think you're gonna be smashing out some mechinf as well. Right, pull some modules, good. Don't think we need more than two more modules. So we might be finishing the spaceship next turn. 
Ah. In case okay, so we need to mine there. Uh, irrigation, let's go there then. Oh, we got captured. Boo. So, uh, Vikings. Dum 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 dum. I'm thinking right here. So, should we nuke the Vikings? Just because they were so such bastards against us. Hmm? Sneak attacking us. How dare they? Now, well, their capital of Trondheim is a bit too far away. But I suppose we can nuke Washington. I'm nothing if not vindictive. Well, this is pretty standard stuff by the AI. To band together against the human player. Bands together against the human player. Once the human player is a bit of a bit ahead, which makes sense. I mean, you still want the, the game to be competitive, somewhat. And that's why they exchange tech like mad, because that's the only way they can keep keep up. And of course, then there are the sneak attacks and all that stuff once you get towards the end, because... Well, you are ahead. You are gonna win. I think that's pretty darn obvious. Well, the sewer system right away, yeah. So I can't really be mad that the AI you know, operates like that. It is a sound way to keep the game interesting, if nothing else. But it's also kind of sad that you never can ever actually have functioning diplomacy. Well, now. Oh. Then again, there are remarkably few games of this type that actually have a diplomatic model that makes sense. And remains interesting. And gives good gameplay. That's a superbly rare combination. Uh, Langolan, you're not going to build any more of that stuff. Because I believe 4 is the cap. You're going to build... Uh, I don't know. Should go off with a bang, right? More future techs? Uh, always good. You keep complaining about the recycling centers. Uh, I think that's gonna be the last one, so. Habitation module, that's fine. And you're gonna build. You're too far away to build anything useful. Build, cap build cash. Give me less to manage. Possibly. No more required. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Um, switch over to cash. Yeah, they're probably gonna attack me because I look weak. And I do. I mean, I'm two military units per city. And that's about it. Yeah, you built all the stuff you need to build. Start building cash, unless you're on the front side. Let's 
So much cash. There we go. Okay, so the spaceship is now complete. It can't. We can't get anything better. It's gonna take 12 years for it to get where it, get to its destination. Plenty of fuel, fusion powered, lovely. Um, everything is yeah, it is as good as it can get. This Celtic spaceship cab. Uh, let's launch. Off it goes. Established estimated arrival 18, 1894. Okay, so that's 12 turns. That's not too bad. Okay, we have nukes. Do we nuke? Do we nuke? Yes, we do. Hello, Washington. Ah, oh, lovely. Let's just kill that one. And then I'm willing to talk. Uh, advisors, where are you? Foreign Minister. So, Vikings. Are you still not interested in peace, are you? Well, in that case, we'll continue. Okay, Capo has now fully defended it itself. Let's see now. Howitzers. 12 attack. Not much in defense. I guess we're gonna build some stealth bombers. I mean, nukes are fun, but... Uh, one should be enough, right? Just to show them that this is a bad idea. You really shouldn't mess with us. We kind of have toys you don't. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, suddenly they'll have to have the toys too, and then... When the farm really breaks out. Um, this one's gonna just gonna park in Ronda. Should probably stop building the nukes. Up in Rimney. Yeah, just gonna build cash. Actually, no, you're gonna build a few mech imps. Just to protect against the Greeks. Because if one of them sneak attacks me, they all, they all can do so. If they think I am weak, so yeah. These other ones... Yeah, just go there and join the town. Oh, hit T again. Not what I wanted. R. R for railroad. Eighteen ninety four, okay, so a few turns and the Japanese land near How oh, dare ya And they landed with an engineer, I don't like that at all. Good thing the engineers are like solidly built. Let's see here. Crete needs a spy. I look forward to playing Civ 3, I think, because <laughs> simply because of the borders. Um, this is Cremona. Where is Cremona? Map. Yeah, okay, in that case. You... Mm, you are on the peninsula. Yeah, that's fine. Capitalization is it. You're on the front line. That's all that matters. And uh, you need more food. Fortify out here on the front. 
just to keep them away from us. No, oh. misclick again. Roads, railroads. Improve, improve. And there's a plain square, so farm that up. And you can cut on that forest. And fortify. Yeah, how are we gonna solve this? Um, okay, first things first. We uh, need to wake up the spy. The spy of Karmarthen. Because I do not want a... this in the area. And the problem is, as we found out, once they become democracies, they become immune to bribes. So that won't work forever. And that is a bit of a problem. Because that means that they can invade and I'll have not, not, no chance of actually getting them off our lands. Uh, Cremona, you need a spy. Switch to spy. Crete, rather. So now we just need the spaceship to arrive, and that's gonna take a while. Unfortunately. Time we'll just see if we can build up the cities as much as at all possible, make them as happy as possible. And of course, I could use my money to build buildings now, but uh, too much hassle. I'd rather just save the cash and use them for the score as well. Everything is scored at this point. Not that we'll get very much of it, because we play on Warlords. Still. Every little bit helps. Every little bit help, helps my ego. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, we're gonna play on a higher difficulty once I start with Civ 3. I, as fun, fun of I am, as I am on Wonder Movies and stuff like that. I think it is just a better idea. Um, nah, disband it. Don't need the cavalry. Why did I improve that square when it's not actually part of any city? No. Oh, well, no matter. No matter. What's done is done. Uh, no, send the Japanese away. Oh, Iona is still building nukes. Uh, well, they didn't have to do that, actually, but... You'd think they'd be a kind of slightly deterred by me having nukes. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, well. Okay, I think I'm gonna take a short break here, and we will see if we can wrap it this game up in the next episode. We have launched a, space launched a spaceship, so... It should arrive in a few turns. So, yeah. See. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll... Uh, watch us through to the end here.